the pasty he basically started as an idea after I was kind of captivated by this article um, which is all about the fragility of our deep oceans and the accumulation of plastics in our deep oceans mm -hmm. back in June of 2006 the United Nations released this report and I'm reading this thing and I'm like why is nobody talking about plastics in our oceans and that's where the whole idea of um, you know sort of turning waste into a resource came about and it was it's sort of been quite evolutionary from there to the point where we're now constructing a boat made out of what's considered to be waste and what we would say is actually a resource. The first thing that people have always said to me and asked me is why don't we just melt these down um, and then mold the hull out of the plastic bottles but I've always felt that it's far more impactful and powerful to actually be able to see this. We needed to figure out a way of making them strong, making them um, structural and rigid enough to, to perform a function in the boat and, and realised very early on that we needed to pressurise them. Casting around for ideas, I thought of putting dry ice, carbon dioxide, compressed carbon dioxide um, gas into the bottles. Um, so we had to then just refine it really and figure out exactly how much gas to put in to give us the right pressure. The boat is a um, catamaran, so two hulls. So you'd have these two star-shaped hulls with bottles packed uh, around the outsides and then they'd be joined in the middle by two beams and then you'd have a kind of a platform in the middle. So this is the prototype. Um, it's, it's really, to be honest with you, it's completely unrepresentative of the boat. Um, the only thing vaguely, you know, really to focus on is the bottles. And this was about seeing how it would sail. Now we got reasonable speeds out. Well, not like a Hobie cat, but, um, but you know, for the weight and for the sail area, it wasn't too bad. And my guess is that the boat will probably move along quite happily around eight knots which is plenty for what they're trying to do. You know, if, if, the, if they can take this out to sea and, and do 200 miles regularly uh, every day, then that's perfectly adequate. This is SRPT, so you can see it's a, a fabric, a woven fabric. And the idea is that you um, apply heat and pressure to it. So this material here is, is a PET foam. So again, it's made out of the same material as bottles. And so what we do is, um, in order to make the panels that we need for the boat, we apply this fabric to the outside on both sides and then apply the heat and pressure and then that gives us our, our rigid panel. So you can see how bendy and flexible that is without the plastic on the outside. And then you can see this is a finished panel which is absolutely stiff and rigid uh, and suitable for use in the boat. A regular boat hull is like a giant beam and it doesn't want to twist because to twist it's got to break every junk it's got to break every junction between each panel. Now what we've done is we've taken all the structure that a regular boat has and then taken the skin away. So we've taken the part away that actually makes it stiff. So that's the issue. So everything on this boat will be made out of PET in some form or other, whether it's in the form of a bottle, whether it's in the form of a panel. Um, this SRPT, it will all be the same material. And, and what's nice about that is that we can upcycle or recycle this whole boat. Our plan is basically out here, we'll sail down to San Diego to Scripps, come into Hawaii, up into Midway, cross into probably Wake, down into Bikini, and then work our way through these islands across down in, in Nathan, Sydney. It looks big just because the map's big, it's really very small. <laughs>